This is super exciting. We're doing a open day tomorrow and showing people uh, the progress on the boat so far. This time on Distant Shores, we give you a full tour of the interior of DS4 as she's being assembled in the shop using an interesting build method outside the hull. And also make a visit to the Lumar factory in England as we research equipment for Distant Shores 4. We're Cheryl and Paul Shard, hosts of the Distant Shores Sailing Adventure TV series. We've been cruising and living aboard for 33 years, documenting the sailing lifestyle. Join us for the building of our fifth boat, a custom aluminum Orion 49. Welcome to Distant Shores, where this time we're taking a look at the interior and the layout of the new boat. So this is a mock-up of the hull itself, where the custom interior gets built here outside of the yacht, and then the pieces can be assembled at can more convenient uh, later date, while other people have been working on the inside, finish, fitting out the inside systems underneath all that, then all this woodwork will be built uh, here and ready to install it later. So this time, we'll take a look around the interior layout of the new Distant Shores 4. It's not just me looking around. The boatyard has an open day in late April, and I get to meet up with 50 enthusiastic sailors interested in the boat, wanting to learn more about the Orion 49. There's a build slot available for hull number two. So here's a look at the interior layout of the new Distant Shores 4, and a tour of what's completed so far. All right, we're super excited here. This is the first time we've got to see the way the interior's being fitted out, and I thought I'd take a chance to show you what the interior of the new boat is gonna look like. And you can see here that they've actually built a model of it. Uh, so this is to be all the aluminum parts are here done in wood. And then all the wooden interior will be built in here before it gets put inside the, uh, the hull. So the hull work can proceed in parallel at the same time. Cool. Here's the bow. And then here is uh, the main saloon and uh, pilot house. So let's give you some bearings before we begin the tour. Looking aft, up there is the companionway, so you'll come down the companionway hatch into the pilot salon on top of the engine compartment. Here is the aft cabin, and over it will be the pilot salon, which isn't built yet. And uh, then down over the engine box into the aft cabin, and the galley, and the main saloon. And then uh, when you go leave the forward main saloon, you'd go into the forward cabin, and there isn't room for that in here. So instead, the forward cabin is being built over here. So there's the second model piece for the forward cabin. So this is the pilot cabin. So we're standing up here on the engine box in front of the main saloon. And you've got the windows here on the side in the pilot house. This is the height you'd be standing at. And you've got views out and then over here. You have stairs down, a couple of stairs down into the pilot cabin that will be built up in here. So the way this is being done is this is an exact model of all of the ribs of the boat. And then it's just missing the plating. But all the woodwork is going to be built to attach onto the, the interior metalwork. And this method of doing it allows you to build, first of all, the woodwork here and then when you are finished with making the woodwork in a nice convenient place to work then you can unbolt it from here and take it in and attach it on into the real boat but without having uh, all the difficulty of working there you've got you're working right in your wood shop uh, with all your tools right around so let's see we have to climb up out of the out of the pilot berth Eventually, there will be stairs here, leading down into the galley. The nav seat in the pilot salon will allow you to see forward through the windows and over the deck. And in the galley, so this is now finished woodwork. This has got the veneer that we chose in the last episode. This is the Sapali mahogany veneer and the true Sapelli corner pieces too. So this is absolutely gorgeous. You can, I don't know if you can see this. 
Yeah. It's beautiful looking wood. The guys are really impressed with the way the wood looks. And then there's counters and storage. So there's a refrigerator, ice box in the back here, and then cabinets will be built up here and attached up. And then this is the stove box. So we're getting an induction cooker or cooktop with oven as well. Made by GNS Pass, the same people who made our last fantastic uh, stove. And this one will be another one. But this one will be entirely electric and uh, installed right there. There's lots of storage in the galley under the counters. Down under here, I think. The sink will be here with cabinets for storage underneath. And access through floor if you need access to systems under there. So this is the actual floors that are going to be installed in the boat. So these are already finished pieces. So the floor is already done. These guys are doing a fantastic job on the woodwork. This is really beautiful. This is the Sapelli mahogany that they're machining into these rounds. This is absolutely gorgeous wood. Sapelli mahogany. And then really big storage lockers under the under the seating in the saloon. This is all finished work in the lower salon. The locker lids just need hinges put on them. And you can see it's already set to be built and suspended from the aluminum of the hull. I'm very happy to see so much accessible storage space built in under the salon seating. The standard design of the Orion 49 has a second settee in this lower salon, but we have changed it into a storage system area along with an additional diesel-fired heater. So then the forward bulkhead. So again, this is an aluminum bulkhead, so it's in the position of the aluminum of the hull, so this is not obviously a part of the boat. Then the mast post will be here in aluminum. And now we want to go and take a look uh, into the forward cabin, which there isn't a forward cabin, there isn't room for it here. So let's go around. You can see how convenient this is if you're going to be working on this, if you're doing the woodwork and you want a real easy access. You've got your wood shop here, all your tools, beautiful lighting. You're not dealing with getting up and down stairs into the boat. You can just walk straight in and now we can go around to here where the forward cabin all assembled. Again, the aluminum here is represented by uh, the particle board here, which won't be representing just the aluminum. And then this is the front bulkhead that I welded uh, some time ago, that piece. And here's the interior already uh, attached on. So they're gonna attach this into the boat with blocks of wood will get bolted onto the aluminum and then they will rest the interior on the frames like that. So we're actually entering the boat through what won't be a real door. This is going to be the forward heads. So then the forward cabin has got a big tall storage cabinet that has four drawers followed by uh, an opening door and three shelves inside here. And then a hanging closet up here. Again, this work is really nice with all this Beautiful looking Sapelli mahogany. And the forward cabin is luxurious and quite pretty large. So There's going to be a cabinet in here that isn't finished yet. The bulkhead is looking beautiful. And then the forward bunk. And then there's an aft seat here by the, by the bunk. And the storage under here currently covered over to protect it. And then the forward bulkhead that has a, there's an air conditioning unit that'll blow out up that and into the room here to cool uh, people if you're sleeping in a hot climate in here. So there's basically a tour of the boat. So you can see that while the cabinetry is being assembled over here, the hull of the boat will be settled down over there. What a cool method of building. It allows them to get a number of more people working basically on uh, all the components of the boat without all being all crammed together inside the hull.
While construction has been going on at the shipyard, we have been researching the latest equipment for outfitting Distant Shores 4. So when Paul was in the UK last week, he organized a visit to the Lumar factory. So I've come to Lumar today to take a look at some of the new gear that's getting built for our boat. Lumar has been great for the so many years that we've had Lumar equipment on our boat. Now I think 33 years of having various Lumar gear installed on our four different sailboats in the past. And this time we're working with Lumar, getting to work with them as we work on developing some of the new 48 volt gear that's going to go on the new boat. We're going to talk about that, look around at the factory and see what changes have happened since we were last here 12 years ago. We have owned products from the Lumar family since buying the anchor windlass and steering system for our first boat 35 years ago. From the excellent winches, gorgeous windlasses, rugged deck hardware, super dependable steering systems, port lights, hatches and more. A few years ago, Lumar added custom-made glass for boats to their wide-ranging marine portfolio. The glass fabrication part of the tour was very interesting. Starting with large panes of raw glass, this computer-driven device scores the glass with a diamond head and then an expertly placed tap will split the pane precisely along the line. A few more taps and the shape of the piece emerges ready to have its edges polished. Glass can be printed and the ink fused right in for borders or decorative patterns. And for extra toughness, safety and strength, glass can be laminated where there will be two panes cut out and then the two will be bonded together with a plastic interlayer using a heating process. This is the same process used in car windshields to add soundproofing and shatter resistance, but in this case, nearly twice as thick. You can see the lamination in between the two. Yeah, I see. Two dis distinctive colors here. So you've got kind of like this clear green sort of on top and a, and a dark color yes. on the bottom. And in between you see there's the lamination. This is the interlayer. Yeah. Yeah. That we put in between the two pieces of glass. Oh, really? Um, basically, what glues it together? It's, it's you can see it's just a. Can I touch it? Yeah, yeah, oh, push it's pretty thick. Yeah. It looked like a plastic bag sheet, but it's way thicker than that. Yeah. It's almost a mil. mil oh, yeah, it's, I think, yeah. Point 0.8, I think it is. Point 0.8 yeah. of mil. It's, um, so this is, we put layers in this, so depending on the customer. Some customers ask for six layers, some ask for eight. Give you a live demo. Yep. Yeah. This is a work of art by a master. Thank well, you so much. That's all right, no problem. That's brilliant. Well, I've been doing 20 old years, so it's kind of yeah, nice. Why got, got a neck of it by now? I never it will. The product many people will be familiar with is the trusty Lumar hatch. For our new boat, there are six of the larger size 60 hatches and five of the smaller size 20s. And then all the like I have always admired the creative engineering of the Lumar winches. They're designed to be super easy to service, such that you don't need any tools to do the job, stripping down the winch to check and lubricate the most vital parts in the very center of the winch. Well, let's bring. Make it look like you haven't been doing it all your life. <laughs> Make it look like you have. Scary, isn't it? I've only been doing it for 36 years. <laughs> To learn how to maintain your winches, check out our how-to playlist and watch our how to service your winches video, a helpful resource for this important annual maintenance job. And if you're interested in the history of the build of our Orion 49, there's a playlist for that too. In fact, if you want more frequent updates, we do monthly live chats with our patrons and post bonus images and videos about the build, plus there's a lot of other benefits. Check out Distant Shores TV on Patreon. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like or subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of future videos. See you next time.